Right, this, um, this is the Scolia board system that uh, I've been showing people on the internet for a while. Uh, I'm in Hungary looking at this. As you can see, this is, this is big. Uh, it's quite large. It needs to be large because these three pillars have got webcams in. And what they do is they actually analyse where each dart lands very accurately and do the, uh, do the maths to do the scoring. Uh, this ring is around about 98 centimetres uh, diameter. And then the pillars obviously come outside of that. So it does, you do need some space for it. The light that you get from it is first class. Um, I know it looks massive now, but the, the fact of the matter is, is that when you're throwing at it, because it's so big, you don't actually notice the things there at all. I find personally with a lot of these smaller tunnel systems, they actually look like a tunnel. So I'm quite a fan of this, even though it's, it's, it's large. It's sort of like a, there's advantages and disadvantages to it. So you do need quite a bit of space to fit this in, but it will do the electronic scoring for you. Okay, now the brain of the system is this box here. And just here is a code that actually identifies this box on the internet. Okay? This tablet, so any sort of normal tablet that you use, this is an Android tablet, similar to the one I use. If I want to join this tablet to this box, I put this code in here. So let's just uh, join the board. And it's X, A, 2, 5, 5. Go to board. And that's now connected to that. It says select a game type, so we've got a choice at the minute of uh, the sort of like 501 games or around the clock. So we'll choose 501. We've got configure game options, so there's 170, 301, 501, 701 currently. The beauty of this is, is they can add more features to it as it goes along. Uh, we can have race to or best of, one set, three legs, etc, etc. So we'll go to uh, first three legs, continue. Players, I'll just have one, so it's just me. And we'll have it as a guest. And, no, there we go, there we go. Guest, and one player, start game. Oh, it wants me to put my name in, I'll put a name in. There we go. Neil, start game. So that's the, the basic tablet setup and how you can get it to log into the board. Add to that. My phone. So, one of the beauties of internet based things is that I can Uh, player's guest, put the board code in, which is like so, go. And on my phone, anywhere in the world, because of the internet, I've got the same thing happening. So, we don't need to take that. <laughs> Sorry, Neil. I, uh, uh, Right, so let's just zoom out a little bit so you can see the the tablet on the so we've got the board here. We've got the tablet uh, that we generally use, uh, which is connected to the uh, brain of the system, and there's my phone, which is just on uh, the internet. And if I throw up the board. So, it, uh, it registers where the darts land. Now here's the thing, you can see it's, it's done it on my phone as well. And one of the questions that I keep getting asked is, is it easy to change? So let's say I didn't like the 5. Simply there, you can change it. Okay? Or you can leave it as is. But you can click on each individual dart score and change it. So should it get confused, which is extremely rare. We played on a, on a system all last night. 
non-stop, not one single uh, mistake was made at all, all night long. Um, it's very, very accurate, it's very good. So there you can see, even when these darts um, are really, really tight and really close to the, to the wires, uh, in fact I'll show you just how tight and close they are, uh, even when it's that close and that tight up the wires, these cameras are still registering the right score. It's, it's a very, very accurate system. Um, so there, I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this. And I know that these guys are basically the computer coders. And the, the game selection is only going to get bigger. The features are only going to get bigger. It's worth noting that all these tablets have got cameras in. So should you want cameras facing this way, it's a future development that's worth thinking about. But uh, that's the system so far. Okay, so I've just, um, I've just had a few legs on here. And this is quite interesting because this is a, a heat map and it shows you where the majority of your darts hit. So we've got um, a, sort of like an intense blotch there because you're generally throwing at trebles and then a few scattered around with doubles and, and sort of setup shots. And it shows you, it gives you an idea how you're grouping to be fair. Uh, you can do that with individual legs. So, and all these individual legs that I've played, you can see the sort of, <coughs> the, uh, the heat map showing where, uh, you see there I missed double, double top and finished on double ten for instance. Uh, if you want to break it down a little bit more, we can go to coordinates and you can actually see where, where the webcams have, have registered every single dart that you've thrown um, in a particular leg. So that was leg three and what does it tell you? It tells you the average in leg three was 93.94, first, first nine average 113, throws 16, 100 plus uh, scores 1, uh, 1, 180, etc, uh, etc. Et it breaks down everything. It also gives you a blow by blow uh, score uh, his history of what you've done and how many darts you've finished in. So we've got 3, 6, 9, 12, 15 and then 16 darts there. Um, so it gives you quite a detailed uh, breakdown of um, how you've played um, either in a game or in practice. And there again the history of all three legs, the, the general sort of breakdown of how you've played. It's a good analysis tool if you want to uh, sort of like work on weak parts of your game. Um, and, and the point that I want to make is this is a normal um, Gladiator 3 board. It's not been modified in any way, shape or form. A standard Gladiator 3 board. We could take this down and stick any other board up and it would still work. It's just a normal board. I've seen loads of systems around where you have to use special flights or magnetised darts or whatever the hell else. These are just normal uh, darts. I think they're actually uh, James Wade darts, but it looks like them. Um, a normal darts, normal board, and uh, it does the job. The, the, the work is done entirely by these three webcams and the processing unit.